Uh, okay, this this is new. I had to hit the record button as soon as I got here. This is something completely new. Uh, there was like a new challenge, a sinister supposed challenge at the Arrest Stone. So uh, this is this is something. What is this? Muthos. You plumbed the very abyss, yet still you hunger. We are impressed. Is that so? Not again. Wait, I can't tell. Is he starting into stone? Or... Or I don't know exactly what's happening. I, I, I don't know. No idea what's happening. I don't remember. Why is it a blue flame? Hello? Screenshot. Oh my god. Is this supposed to be the Clive's like final form? Or he's getting or this is the power of Ultima? Is ours. It's ours and now it's yours. It is yours. Consider it a gift from us to you. A taste of things to come. What? I'm sorry, I'm taking mad screenshots for thumbnails. This is crazy. I I'm going to be your vessel. <sighs> so I have so we have Ultima's power now? How does that work? Do I just do I just do I just get new abilities too? Or is it just like when I prime or something? This is crazy. I'll take your gift then, Ultima. I'll use it against you. Just don't expect it back. Expect it back. That's crazy. It's ultimate power. Clive has been granted a portion of Ultima's essence. Okay, sorry. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta close the camera here because I gotta read all of this. Uh, attuning with Ultima not only neutralizes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells. Oh, so basically he's like, uh, it's neutral. What is the name for that? I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. Um, but also allows access to several new divine abilities, such as Voice of God, a punishing attack that sends a concentrated beam of light from the heavens to scorch the very earth. God damn! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Ability details are found in ability tab. Ultima's feet ascension allows Clive to levitate from the ground, transforming his normal square attack into a sweeping assault capable of striking multiple nearby enemies at once. It also enhances his normal range, his normal range spell into a five-fold volley of holy arrows. In addition, pressing X allows Clive to rise up even further into the air, allowing him easier access to fly. Oh my god, dude. This is crazy. Only Ultima's abilities are available during... Wait, what? Only Ultima's abilities? Oh, are available as battle. I thought they were saying, like, you can only use it here. I was about to be pissed off, bro. You hear me? What? This is ascension. Oh, my God. This is crazy, bro. Dude, this is insane. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, look, he has the freaking... Oh, Ruin! That's what it's called, Ruin. That's what the name I was trying to think of, the spell name. Dominion? Oh, my God. Dude, Ultimate Power is awesome. What the hell? All right, let's try Prostolila, pros whatever it's called. Oh, it's like an uppercut. Wait, dude, look, his, even his prime, even, like, the color of his prime thing is different, too. Okay, this guy's messing me up. Oh, no, he still goes E for it. I was just curious. All right, bro, don't, don't, don't kill me now. I was just trying to, you know, mess around with the powers here and have some fun. 
Dude. This is so freaking sick. Just, yeah, just combo it up. This is crazy, dude. Yeah, one more time. I love it, bro. It's, it's just so OP, dude. Dude, the way he just teleports like that. Deus Ex, what? Channel the heavens. That was crazy, dude. That was actually crazy. All right, just gotta be more cutscene, right? I just wanted to be a new ending, man. I don't, I don't know why. I feel like maybe we're not gonna get it. I don't. I have no idea, dude. You, who ever rail against our gifts, remain all too eager to avail yourself of them. Perhaps you require more time to reflect. Okay. Hyros Gate unlocked. Okay. Kairos Gate is now locked. Kairos Gate is challenging endgame battle content. Wait, hold on, hold on. What, what, what is all this? Hold on. Kairos Gate is challenging endgame battle content in which Clive must delve into the very circles of hell to tackle wave after wave of familiar yet ferocious enemies. But that's not... That's, Put your back comes to skills in the ultimate test in Kairos Gate. Restrictions on level, gear, and consumers are applied. Gameplay mode will be will default to action focus. But that's not that can't be like. No, I'm just trying to think like that can't be like that's not like the end game content or or it's not like what you're supposed to get from this. Like I have questions, dog. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna probably pause the video here, but. I'm going to try to redo the ending of the game and see if that does anything. So I potentially will be back. And if it doesn't do anything, then I'll probably cut back to just ending the video. But that's crazy. But I feel like they don't just give you that for nothing. And it could be this too. It could be that I need to do the Kairos Gate stuff instead of the end game, maybe. I don't I don't know. I, this sounds like this is just another like like a replay mode of like fights, like just like a bunch of fights. I think that's what it is. I don't know. We're going to see. I'll, I'll be right back. Yeah, so I uh, I just looked it up, and uh, <laughs> I'm sad. It, it, there's nothing else. There's nothing else. It ends. It just ends. It just ends, bro. I'm pissed. It just ends like that. I'm, I went full screen for no reason because I was just angry and I clicked the wrong button, but I'm, I'm kind of upset that you get the ultimate power, and it's just kind of like for more like fun you know, shits and giggles, post-game kind of content. Use it to, like, do the Cairo skates, which, by the way, secret boss fight is there. And I looked that up. And I won't spoil it, I guess, for anybody who doesn't know. Or maybe at this point, you probably don't even care. At this point, it's not even really a spoiler. But you just fight, like, your shadow self. Like, the, the version of you that you fight earlier in the game. Like, when you're testing yourself and everything, right? Um, except your fate, I think it is. I, I, it's one of those. It's one of those, like, really key pivotal moments in the beginning of the game. When you prime for, like, the first time and everything. It's crazy. And uh, yeah, you just fight that, man. And so like, there's no change in the ending. I'm bummed out because I I would have really would have liked to have their I would have liked that for them to have kind of altered the ending of the base game. But then it's like, I, maybe they just don't want to change that. That's they, I think they left it on purpose, right, to leave it up into like interpretation and all that stuff. And not even just that, but like you know the whole thing with like Clive and his sacrifice and all that stuff. But I don't know. I was hoping low key that like it would have been a slightly different ending, but it is what it is. Um, so this video is kind of like random, so it was a super short video, kind of just get a look at the ultimate power, I guess you could say. Um, actually, you know what, let's switch back to the game. I didn't get a chance to really look at the rest of them. Uh, assuming there's more, let me, let me see. Let me see how it even looks like. Where is it? Oh, it goes at the very top? That's cool. Oh, and it fills out the whole silhouette, dude. That's crazy. That is insane, dude. I didn't even realize. Look, it's like it's like the. I think that's supposed to be like the Ultima, and then like his wings, and it goes around all the icons. It's, it's insane. Let me see. Voice of God, rise and call forth from the heavens a ray of pure ether to scorch the land. Can be used in midair. That's insane. 
And then we saw that one already. We saw this one. This is the other one. Ultimate Demise. Draw in all smaller enemies, then overwhelm them with a singular eruption of magic force. That's crazy. And then Ascension. Oh, then that's just, okay, it's just Ascension. Yeah, yeah, we have that already. Oh, wow, so they don't have, like, a signature, like, ultimate sort of kind of move, like Tsunami. And, like, you know, there's other ones, right? There's, like, Flames of Rebirth. There's none of that for here. Interesting. I mean, I guess because it's already OP. Or maybe is this technically it? Oh, I think this is technically it. No. Yeah, this might have technically been it. I'm sorry. Ultimate Demise, yeah. And yeah, that's that's definitely probably because that does go really hard for no reason. That's definitely it. That's cool, man. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and try to like pull it off. There's no point for video content wise, but it's cool. It's cool that all it's cool they did that. I just I thought they were like this is what they alluded to at that presentation, and I thought this is what I thought they were gonna allude to the fact that he just became like you know the next Ultima or something, and like he survives and the whole different ending. But it is what it is. Thank you guys for watching. This was fun playing this DLC, and 16 definitely goes up there as. One of the best Final Fantasies that I've played, for sure, man. Uh, it's an incredible game. Uh, but yeah, we'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the content, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're brand new. And yeah, we'll be playing uh, Stellar Blade next. That will be the next game that we make content on. So it's out. I do have it. Time to start like you know, getting some videos out there and continue where we left off. So that's the next playthrough. Yeah, we'll end it there. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,